How's it going guys? What I wanted to do in this video is to talk to you about the benefits of using the layers within the graphics of uh, MUI. Uh, this can be a very handy feature uh, as part of your system. The more effort that you put into the system, the better off it's going to be, the more useful it's going to be to you. And what I wanted to show you just as an example of something that we've been working on within our system. You can see that I've got the floor plan for one of our buildings up in front of us here. Now it is of course just a generic floor plan, uh, just the room layout. But where you can make it much for, more useful is by using the layers to identify where some of the components of your system uh, are located. Uh, this can save time when you're going through trying to do repairs uh, as far as any kind of renovations and it's just a just a handy tool uh, just to give you a little bit of time saving and that sort of thing. Now what I've got here, I've got the floor plan, but just to show you what I'm talking about here, when I click my layers icon here, I've got a hidden layer uh, here that I'm going to enable. Now this is a uh, snippet basically from the mechanical drawings of this building. Of course these are an older, this is an older building. These drawings are some that have been around for a while. So we do not have the actual CAD file, but you can kind of see I have got these drawings overlaid for the uh, the floor plan. You can see the floor plan previously, and now I have got the drawings overlaid, and that way I can kind of see the ductwork, I can see VAV locations, and that sort of thing. It can be a very uh, good addition to your system. Uh, just as a time saver, it can tell you, uh, you can have noted in here somewhere where a device may be located. You can also see one of the handy parts of this, if I ever needed to replace a VAV or anything like that, I actually have the CFM set points right here on this. And of course, uh, if you have the control drawings, that's another way that you can find those as well. Uh, you have an idea of the flow layout for your ductwork. And there again, it can be used for a whole host of things. Just to show you something else, I'm going to turn that mechanical layer back off. And of course, we're back to our normal screen. I can go in here and click on a room and see the information uh, in that room as well. You can see the VAV box populates there. But there's also another feature and another way that you can use the layers as well. One of those, as you can see with this particular floor, there's a total of three air handlers that will cover the different areas of this particular floor. If I wanted to know which air handler is going to cover a particular area, I have an air handler coverage layer here. I can enable it and once I do that, what it will allow me to do then is you can see how it highlights the entire area. Okay, that's going to show me exactly what air handler will provide coverage for that particular area. Okay, just that simple. And if I click into that, it will then pull me directly into the graphic for that air handler. And of course, instead of trying to figure out exactly uh, which air handler feeds a particular room, you can do something like this using the layers and set it up to where once you've got it set up, you're done with it. You know, it's there. It's a feature that is very handy. Of course, when I've gone back where I had used the back button, it refreshed this and it has gone back to my normal graphic layout. But that is just one of many examples as far as how you can use the layers. Uh, you know, and, and there again, especially mechanical, the mechanical drawings, uh, you know, you can use them in lots of different ways. Uh, this is only one way. And there again, what I've had to do here, it's kind of a crude way of doing it just because it is literally taking uh, photos or taking uh, scanned PDF documents and adding those as a layer overlay 
to a building but you can make this look really nice if you have the CAD files you can actually build up the layers and do it very neatly to where it just looks amazing but however this is still something that can be very useful within Metis as you can see here I've got another building up here and it's sort of the same way now you know I've got my zone layout for various devices for for the reheats and things like that in this particular building so that is one of many ways that it can be useful and again it is something that if you have access into your system that you can pull up on any device uh, you know a mobile device a uh, your laptop or just whatever however you're accessing your system you can pull that information right up and have it at your fingertips but guys this is just a quick video that I wanted to do to show you all how uh, you, useful that you can make this if you have any questions leave those down in the comments below also be sure to check out all of the links down in the description be sure to visit my website at systemcontroltech.net uh, leave me any comments down below guys I'll try to answer those that I can and in the future I will probably be doing some videos on how you can actually do those graphic layers guys thanks for watching and we will see you next time